How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to Serena the Summoner. So we had a big adventure beating Skeletron and making our way into the dungeon. And I've just been in the process of sorting out our inventory because we are collecting heaps and heaps of stuff. And I haven't really had a chance to sort it. So all I've done, I've put like some of the furniture in a box. Uh, I've dumped off some of the inventory out of uh, piggy bank. And what we're going to do is make one more trip to the dungeon and have a really good look around and maybe collect some more golden keys, do a bit of farming, try and get the Nazar, and then we can actually come back and do a bit of base design. So some of you have suggested building a tower to make all the shrines to the different summons in, and I think that's a fantastic idea. Ooh, Moonglow. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do that. I'm also just gonna quickly grab this Moonglow. Um, when you do a summoner let's play, you need as much Moonglow as humanly possible. So it blooms at night time. So basically what I'm doing is just planting it in as many plant pots as I can. And uh, yeah, sort of getting it happening. So let's see, there's another one ready to harvest. Okay, so I've got all that new moon glow, moon glow growing, tongue twister. All right, so I'll see you back at the dungeon very soon. Okay guys, here we are back where we pretty much left off last adventure and we just found a spider biome above the dungeon, or spider nest rather, and there was a couple of web chests that I couldn't quite collect all the gear in. So now that we're back here, I think it's a great opportunity to have a quick look around, grab some cobwebs especially, but also see if the hairstylist NPC is hanging out here. Uh, because you never know, we might get lucky. Now, I don't know if it affects it or not, but these web sort of pile things, I don't know if it affects spawn rates of the spiders or it's purely based on the wall. But just in case, I'm not going to destroy every single one. Just in case. I'm pretty sure it's based on the wall and not what objects are around. But, you know. So, we'll just have a quick look and see if uh, our little friend, the hairstylist is hanging out here and we're gonna get a ton of cobwebs which is cool uh, because you know there's a quite a few cool items you can make with the um, what am I thinking of with cobwebs uh, with the loom so that'll be kind of fun and this looks like an interesting little side passage here so let's go in actually does this help no sadly no I thought the crimson cloud might speed things up a, a tad but no and this is what I find interesting. See how wall creepers are spawning in the dungeon part. I'm starting to think uh, spawns are based only on what wall you're in front of and not what wall the mobs will appear in front of. It's something interesting and it's something I'm going to explore with my AFK farming. So yeah, I just find that interesting. It's happened a bit now that I've been noticing. All right, so I don't know. I'm not seeing much hairstylist, however, that looks like a... Yes! There's a potion statue! <gasps> this is amazing! Um, it's one of those underground cabin rooms, which is fantastic. So let's make a little entranceway in here, get a bit of light. I think I see a gold chest in the water. So that's kind of cool. Is that a loom? Oh, we needed one of those. That's fantastic too. Everything's fantastic. Skeleton statue. Oh, <gasps> yeah! A band of regen! Now... Oh... The feral claws... No, nah, actually the... Shoe spikes are probably my least useful item at the moment. So I'll still take them with me. Oh, whoops! Loot. Yeah, that's it. That's what I want to do. I don't need blink root, don't need wood. Uh, I'm not full of inventory again already, am I? Okay, you know what time it is then? It's piggy time. So let's make a little wee platform here. And get out. Oh, no! I haven't brought Piggy! Oh my god, I didn't bring him. Oh no. You know what that means, guys? I'm going to have to go back to base and get Piggy quickly. So I'll go get him and then I'll come back and I'll see you all soon. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we are, back back in the game, guys. I went and dropped off all my stuff, and I remembered Piggy. And I'm kind of interested. It looks like there's a bit more to explore just up here. So I think 
while we're here, let's keep having another little look uh, because you never know what you're going to find. Chandelier, very nice. Alright, so let's uh let's go down here. Now this is new new territory, guys. We haven't been What are you doing in here, Spider? Get out! Unfortunately, they don't drop anything good pre-hard mode. Um, it would be cool if we could get the spider armor early, but we can't. But that's okay. Let's have a look through here. I'm also on the lookout, I suspect. Uh, cursed skulls have sweet spots, and they seem to spawn in a certain area in the dungeon. I think it has to do with the background wall, I don't know. But we're kind of lightly on the lookout for that as we're going through. So we're coming up to a junction here. I'm going to grab all the paintings because I want to make cool designs during this playthrough. Cool bases and all that jazz. Alright. Well, there's a platform. wonder what that's leading to. Ooh, dart traps. So I'm collecting all the dart traps too because, you know, we could be making our first trap farm very soon, uh, which might help. We could do it with the goblin invasion and make battle standards. I don't know if there's anything we really need to farm from the goblin invasion. Goblin, but uh, it might be good. Is that a dungeon slime? Yes. If you didn't know, dungeon slimes have a 100% chance of dropping a gold key. You can actually see the key in their body, which is... I think it's a pretty cool touch. I like that. I'm also collecting every water candle as we go here because we're going to need them for our farms later on. And I'm just looking out for water bolts because... Because why not? We're here anyway. Getting these cool lanterns we can use for designs later. Alright. Whoop. Knockback is really dangerous for us at the moment because these areas are so tight and uh, we just don't have the strength yet to be tanking. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Mobs are trying to kill me. Hornets, Hornets, help! Oh my gosh. That reminds me too, guys. Uh, before this episode got started, I put everyone's uh, suggestions for the Hornet names into a name sorting program and we finally have a name for our hornets and thank you to all the people that were suggesting names in the comments and coming up with these really cool things um, the name that ended up being the winner is one that came up a lot and it's Buzzy which you know you might argue is a bit of a cliched name for bees but I kind of like it because the plural works really well too so I can say Buzzies help or just Buzz help you know it's like it kind of works really well. So we're just going to deposit most our gear into our piggy. But I'm just going to take a moment to make sure we've got stuff we need. Like our hook. Uh, probably potions, which I've got. Water candles will stack. Owl. Owl, leave me alone. Owl, stop it. Owl, curse skull, please drop, uh, drop your... What are we looking for? A nasar. Okay, that should do. Up, leave me alone. Buzzies, kill it. Help, help. Come on, Buzzies. Drop a nasar. Ooh. Ooh, close. Oh, golden chest. Let's do this, guys. What are we going to get? Ooh, the blue moon. Recall potions. Always good. Not the cobalt shield yet, but I'm hanging in there. I'm hanging in there, guys. All right. So, oh, another golden chest. Beautiful. Cobalt shield. Let's do this. Magic missile. Okay, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Not what we wanted, but it's okay. Whoa. Ah, this is getting crazy. Let's get some more paintings. Why not? We're fine lovers of art here in the Serena Summoner playthrough, guys. Fine art collectors. 
Okay, it looks like the passageway continues up here. So, <gasps> another golden chest. It's like Land of Chess. An Aqua Scepter. Goodness me. That's not what we want. We want our Cobalt Shield. Goodness me. Okay. So, ah, we're under attack. All right, let's have a look up here. I think this is the end of the road for this corner of the dungeon. But that's okay. Should I grab some more banners? These flame banners, the Molten Legion ones, look wicked. They look just really cool. And I can see, like, when we make, like, a hell room, it's going to look really cool with those Molten Legion flames, flame banners in there. I like it. I like it. I hope you like it, too. Okay, getting some more furniture. This is awesome. And I haven't forgotten, I'm, while we're playing, I am looking out for a really good spot to make Cobalt Shield. What? I don't want any more magic mirrors. I am looking for the perfect place. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, looking for a good place to set up a farm. Just to collect bones and whatever. A couple of cool items. Alright. So... Going up here. Is that a... Oh, it's a heart. We could bust through quickly and collect it. Maybe... Maybe summon a bit of Brain of Cthulhu. There's a couple... Oh, this must be a new Crimson. Now, we don't have the... Brain Trophy. It could be a... An opportunity to... Whoa, there's two together. I don't know, guys. Can we mine it yet? We can. We can. Alright, I don't know. Nah, I'll come back and do it later. <gasps> no! No! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I died. <laughs> no, our inventory was full anyway, so... There's so much loot in the dungeon. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'll uh, drop off some more stuff and uh, we'll go back for another look. See you soon. Okay, here we are back at the unfortunate location of Serena's Demise. So we've picked ourselves back up and just picked up an ancient necro helmet, which is pretty cool. It's got uh, it's got nice defense, but it would lower our uh, minion spawn cap if I wear it. So that's okay. So obviously we don't need to go back up there to the area of doom. So let's continue exploring along here in the hope of finding more chests and treasure. I think we can do it. The Cobalt Shield is calling, and I want that torch. Oh, you got to mine it, <laughs> of course. Okay. And it's a dead end. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, let's just collect our cool Molten Legion flags that I really like. And let's go this way. Get some more tables. Get a door, maybe. All right, so this area along here looks like a goer. Uh-oh. 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 Getting dark. Ooh, more torches. Always handy. Alright. Here we go. We're going down into the depths here. It's pretty dark. But that's okay. We're doing alright. Alright. Oh, it's a bit of a drop. Whoa, that's a big drop. But that's okay. So let's see. Ooh, a normal chest and a... What's in this one? Golden key. Okay, that's kind of fun. And obviously our cobalt shield. Oh my god! <laughs> Where is that? You can't hide from me forever, little shield. Come to Serena. Okay. I'd be worried if Serena actually sounded like that. Come to Serena. Alright. Okay, this area looks pretty cool. There's another Santa picture. We like those. I really like these lamps, by the way. They're kind of cool. Although they don't seem to light up. Maybe you need to... <gasps> Bunny statue! Maybe you need to... Like, light them up or something with wire. Perhaps. Another water candle. Good, good. And this candelabra looks awesome. I'm not full again. That's it. That's enough of that. I'm just going to start throwing stuff out now. I'm not going back to base anymore. That's, that's too much. There's too much stuff to sort. So... Oh, there's two necro thingos. Alright, let's get... Actually, this could be it, guys. This could be the spawn place. I just... I'm not sure if 
we need to farm. I just, I don't know. You can see the platform here is going to be perfect for things to walk along. Although, I need to think of a way to deal with these necromancers. But yeah, I don't know. I tell you what, I'm just going to check the wiki quickly and see if there's stuff worth farming. I'll see you soon. Okay, I had a quick look at the items and it looks like there's not a lot of drops you can get uh, pre-Plantera uh, dungeon. So, the bone one seems to be something cool that you can farm and the nasar, obviously. So, what we might do is just keep exploring and see... If Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is too much. I love <laughs> my random luck sometimes. We just got the nasar, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like the second I go, yeah, we're just going to keep exploring and see what happens. It like drops instantly. That is just too, too cool. Too, too cool. So yeah, so now we're just looking for the bone wand really. So we'll just keep exploring. I mean, we've got to find the cobalt shield anyway. And uh, yeah, we'll just see if it can drop by itself. So... You know, we found the Nazar without trying too hard, so we might get lucky. You never know. So let's just keep exploring and uh, see what happens. I'm feeling lucky now, guys. Wow! This is fantastic. We got the Nazar. Oh, those purple banners look cool too. Uh, oh my gosh. Don't need that. Don't need the normal chest. Okay, this looks like a bit of a drop. Oh, look at that picture. That looks amazing. Is that the twins? Or is it just Eye of Cthulhu? Oh, look, it's like a, a guy in hallowed armor fighting the eye. That's awesome. <gasps> and there's a destroyer. That looks cool. Yes! Woo! Cobalt shield. Come on. Happy days. Oh, my gosh. And almost dying. Okay, I want to equip it straight away, pretty much. It has one defense. Yeah, I reckon the aglet. I reckon we're going to also not die. Oh... Uh, but the Feral Claws... Yeah, I don't need melee speed. As a lot of you have pointed out. I understand. Okay, that'll do. Alright guys, I've done a bit of inventory sorting. And it took quite a while. I'm not going to lie to you. And as you can see, we've got a few themed chests along the bottom here. And what I've done is split up things like our furniture. I've made a, blo a block... A box for special crafting items... We've made a box that will have all the themed type blocks in it. You know, a few of the statues. we got some accessories and just random bits. And just some of the weapons that we've been finding in the dungeon. So what we're going to... Ooh, Travelling Merchant. That's pretty cool. Uh, what we're going to get started with now is actually starting to build a bit of a base platform along here. And that way we can build up our Summoner's Tower and start to get all the NPCs moving in. Which will be awesome. So... Let's see. Ooh. He's selling dynasty wood. That's amazing. Let's grab a whole stack of that. And a whole stack of the shingles as well. And then we've got it all for crafting later on, which is pretty cool. And let's grab some of the pad tie as well. Although that's pretty expensive, isn't it? Yeah, 30 should do. And a leopard skin. Anything else? No, uh, challenge. Oh, hang on. Hang on, that lasts for seven minutes. What did I buy that for? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, uh, let's sell off some of these arrows. Don't really need those at the moment. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So I'll probably speed this up to a bit of music. But uh, yeah, I'm just thinking like a bridge over our original house. And I kind of want to keep that because, you know, it's, it's kind of how we got started in this series. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started and, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. All right.
Okay guys, so here's the start of our summoner's tower. So just by, I was just starting with a bridge design and I, it looked like the perfect height to connect to the thing that we'd made before. So what we're actually going to do from here guys is this is going to be like the base of the tower. And then from here we're going to, in future episodes and with your input, start to build upwards and have some of the themed rooms using all the awesome blocks we're going to collect. And yeah, sort of put the trophy rooms in, which was a great idea that some of you have come up with. Currently, we've got some of our trophies just in the little jungle room. I've kept the original house because, you know, it's kind of like the start of our adventure, which was awesome. So I guess what we need now is for some suggestions to come in. So obviously, we've got some bee blocks, so we can make a bee themed room with the queen bee trophy in there and possibly even put a hornet staff in there as well on a weapon rack. Uh, once I get the solidifier, I can make a slime room. So yeah, uh, what, what should we do in our summoner's tower? Should we make themed rooms for the NPCs? Um, which would be really cool because a lot of them are waiting to move in. There's just no rooms for them yet. So I really need those suggestions in the comments, get them happening. And that's it for another episode of Serena the Summoner. Thanks so much for spending some time with us today. And we actually have a few fan arts to show, which I'm really excited about. The first one jumping up on screen is from Anthony Guidas. And he's done a version of Slime Stuff, and I kind of like the art style. It's pretty cool. It uh, looks like it's a bit MS Painty um, with lots of straight lines. So it's kind of cool, and I reckon we could add to that in the future. The next one coming up is from someone called Gold Skull, and it is absolutely breathtaking. He's used some 3D rendering here and has actually made a slime staff and baby slime. And I didn't notice this at first, but the book, the summoner's book on the page, actually has Serena the summoner written on it, which is just amazing. I can't believe it. So thank you so much, Anthony Guidas and Gold Skull, for sending those in. Uh, don't forget, if you'd like to send in some fan art, I'm just putting the, uh, our fan art address on the screen at the moment. All right, it's time for a few shout-outs. Let's, let's get into them. Okay, Captain Buskus has asked me to say, and I think we have to try and do the voice here. He's asked me to say, Bond, James Bond. Uh, <laughs> Gaming with Dan has asked for a Terminator reference. He wants me to say, I'll be back. And lastly, the Pai Zoo has asked me to say, and this is a Finnish tongue twister, he's asked me to say, Vezi hisi se hisisi hisi si 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 or something like that. And apparently it means something like the water devil hissed in an elevator, which I don't know, maybe it's some sort of way of saying a snake is riding an elevator and hissing at people? Yeah, that sounds kind of plausible, I guess. All right, guys, thanks for spending time with me as always. Leave a like. Remember to keep supporting the Serena series. I need those comments coming in for what you want us to build next in our Summoner's Tower. And I think next episode we'll be looking at gearing up for hard mode and fighting that wall of flesh, so I'm really excited about that. All right, guys, stay happy, and until next time, this is Happy Day signing out. See ya! See ya!